Hey guys, Molly from Land Pro Equipment. I'm at our Springville location today and we are talking to Justin. Justin is one of our sales pros and he's going to give us a walk around on an X300 series lawn tractor. I'm standing next to a John Deere X350 and this particular one is a model year 2023 tractor. Uh, this is one of our most popular mowers for sure just because of the ease of use as well as the customization that you can put onto it. This particular one has a 42 inch deck on it but you could also order it with a 48 inch deck. And inside of these series, they come in different packages as far as deck sizes, horsepower ranges, or even back tires could be a little bit bigger as well. Underneath the hood, very easy to open. All you're gonna do is just grab your hand and open it up. There's no latches or pins or anything like that. So we're just gonna open it up here. And inside of here is a 21 and a half horsepower Kawasaki engine. The Kawasaki engines easily are the best engine when it comes to lawnmowers. They just seem to last a little bit longer. They're more durable, very well, good machine. And Kawasaki Custom makes one for John Deere, which is awesome. Inside of here, the maintenance is extremely easy. Everything as far as an oil change would be on the same side, which is awesome. So you're gonna have your dipstick right here, as well as the oil insert would be right here. Next to it is also the oil filter. And next to that feature is also gonna be the drain plug. So everything is on one side and very easy to get to. Also inside of here, the battery is tucked in with a really nice durable strap that's gonna hold it in there. They went with the strap idea just because it's easy to take it off and then put it right back onto it as well. Inside of there, there's two glow or spark plugs here. You'll have one on this side and there's also one on the other side over there as well. The fuel filter is very easy to get to right on the inside next to the battery in between the engine and the battery as well as your air filter, which comes in a nice, easy clip-on case. So all you do is you just open it up, pop it open, and get right to your air filter, which is also held on by a nice, easy clamp to remove too. Staying on this side, I'm just gonna close the hood here. It's easiest to go just from left to right of the machine, just going over the total operation. You're gonna find this pedal here, and this one is related to your deck. So right now it's set at a fixed position for transportation mode. Say you wanted to release the deck, all you're gonna do is you're gonna choose your cut height in between your legs here. There's a dial from one inch all the way up to four inches, but the most common cut size might be like at a two and a half. So we're just gonna put that latch there, put your foot on the pedal, and we're gonna close the latch, which is gonna drop your mower deck to whatever cut height you set it to. And then when you're in reverse, you wanna put your deck back up when you're all said and done. Put your foot right back on that peg there, lock in that latch, and now your deck is back to the position it was in. So now we're looking at the actual instrument cluster where this would be your dash for every type of feature you're gonna be using. This is that latch I was playing with with your deck. This was what closed it and opened it for allowing your deck to drop. You're just gonna keep that latch here. This one here is the override button to allow you to mow backwards. So say you're going into a specific path and either you miss something or you have to get into a specific area by backing up. All you're gonna do is you're gonna hit your reverse or your override button here hit your reverse pedal and it's gonna lock it in for you. And then you can start backing up with a mower deck on. If you don't do that, it would stall out your machine. So that's just something to keep in mind. Up here is your throttle. So when you're you know, starting the machine off, it's easier just to keep it at a loaded throttle. Then as you're turning your deck on, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you throw the throttle up. And inside there, there's gonna be an RPM rating right here telling you where you set your throttle to. Right next to that, you're gonna see this black lever. This is actually your choke. So the way to start your machine, you're gonna put your choke up, you're gonna turn your key on over, and the nice thing about this is it's spring assisted, so it'll drop down back into the neutral position. So it's not gonna just be sitting there constantly trying to rev up and turn on for you. As we look right here, here's your instrument cluster. As we talked about earlier, this is your RPM side right here. Inside of this will also be your gas gauge, as well as an hour meter, as well as your battery life too, which is really awesome. And then on this side over here, this is where your key ignition was. Also one of these positions too would be your headlight engagement. So when you have it started, all you would do is just bring your key back to the headlight section if you needed to. The way that we turn the deck on in order to raise and lower it is the same way we would use the parking brake. So all we would do, this is your brake on this side over here. We're gonna push it in, open that latch up, and now your parking brake is set. Same way with the deck, all you're gonna do is put some pressure down on your brake here, close this latch back down, and that's gonna release the parking brake to allow you to drive the machine. And while we're sitting right here too, this feature comes with a really nice handy feature of your cruise control. So all you do, just like almost the override button here for the mower deck, you're just gonna press and hold the cruise control, hit your forward pedal, and that's gonna lock in your cruise control. And then to release it, you can hit your brake, hit your reverse pedal, that'll release it back too as well. 
And then the last and final feature up here is your mower deck PTO switch. What you're gonna do here is you just pop the latch up and as the machine is on and everything like that, that would be engaging your blades. And to turn it off, all we're gonna do is just push the switch back down. Then we just touched about it over here. This is again, this will be your brake. And then what's nice about the John Deere hydrostatic twin touch transmission is you would have a forward and a reverse pedal. It, what's nice too is it'll even show you which direction they're going. So in case you forgot or anything like that, you just look for where the arrows are pointing. Back on the other side over here, we're gonna be talking about the deck a little bit. The most important feature about buying this machine, this is now gonna be a very easy way to keep the whole machine maintenance and everything like that. Right here is actually going to be your hose port so that you can actually clean your deck out. The way you would do that is just how we dropped our deck earlier. You drop it to the lowest setting possible, turn the throttle all the way up, and then just turn your blades on. And that's actually gonna be cleaning your deck out while the water's running through it. So your blades are actually what are cleaning your deck, which is awesome. Over here too now, they put these caps on and covers on here in order to actually get to your spindle. So very easy to clean out this section as well. And what's awesome too is the Zerk fittings for your grease is right on the outside. So it's exposed so that way you can get into there a whole lot easier than what it used to be before where you had to unscrew the whole cap, everything like that. What's also nice too is they put the Zerk fittings on the axles back over here as well. So again, very easy service and maintenance on these machines underneath the seat as well this is where your deck level engages so each of the tractors has come here with this little cap and it'll explain to you how you're going to level your deck which we can do that in a separate video and it'll also come with this handy screw this is what you would use and again we'll go over that in a separate video on how to level your deck on the fly which is awesome and the only last thing i want to talk about here is going to be the neutral switch so say for whatever reason you had to push the machine out, say it was stuck in you know mud or something like that, or just the battery wasn't turning on. Back here, this is your neutral switch. So all you're gonna do is just pull it out and now the machine is free moving. So very easy to at least get to this section as well. Get it moved out of the way in case you're stuck and whatnot. All right, awesome walk around, Justin. Thank you so much. So just to recap a little bit, this is our X300 series style tractor. This is specifically the X350. Who would be the appropriate buyer for something like this? Yeah, so I always like to gauge customers just off the property that they have. The easiest answer would be about one to three acres, just again, depending on the property. Um, there also are larger machines for bigger properties. There's also smaller machines for you know lesser properties as well. The 42 inch deck model, like you see here, would be the smallest deck size. So that's where the acre or under a little bit more would be a good fit for that customer for sure. So this specific tractor comes in a 42 or 48 inch deck, but there's other mowers within the X300 series that go up to 54 inch deck, correct? Yep, correct. And uh, just like this tractor where you could do from like a 42 to a 48, there are other machines that are like a 48 to a 54. So there's a lot of optimization and customization to these tractors. Awesome. So if you are interested in an X300 series tractor, an X5 or 7, give us a call. You can shop us online at landproequipment.com or you can stop into one of our local stores and visit with a sales pro like Justin. Yep. Hey guys, Molly from Land Pro Equipment. I had our... Nope.